The truth is out there. Out where? We aren't quite sure yet. But we're talking X-Files today. Lane, did you watch the X-Files when it was on live? And live, I mean, I like, did. Oh, yeah, I did. Because I remember it was always on, like, Friday nights. And um, we're going to get into it being on on Friday nights. Um, I think... Uh, let me double check my notes here. Maybe I skipped that one because... No, I did skip that, so I can... Nope, never mind. I did. It's going to be coming up later. There you go. That's a solid tease for you guys as we're talking about the X-Files there. <laughs> so did you watch it like from the get-go? Did you get into it later or... I got into it later. Like, I, I remember catching some episodes like when they would first appear and then I would just kind of be like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. But I think I started to get more into it when it went into syndication. Okay. Let's see, for me... That's really how I got into a lot of 90s shows with syndication. Mm, yeah. I mean, there was a few shows that I watched live. And like like you, I would occasionally check out the new episode of X-Files when it was on live. But it was really when it hit syndication. And you generally would have at least three to four episodes in a row mm -hmm. where you yes. could kind of like, you know, marathon them a little bit. I've gone back and I've watched. Um, I started to watch the series again. Uh, a few years ago, I think it was like on Netflix mm -hmm. or Hulu or something like that. Yeah. It still kind of holds up for the most part. I mean, obviously it's dated. I mean, it's back in the 90s. Um, but jumping right into this thing here, uh, creator of the show, Chris Carter. And I always remember seeing his name pop up. And my first thought was the dude from the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah. How could he be doing that when he's going to be playing on Sunday? Right. It doesn't make sense. I was like, this guy is just doing double duty and he's amazing. Uh, so he came He's up so creative. <laughs> he came up with the idea for the show after reading a report by Harvard Harvard professor John E. Mack, a psychiatrist and leading authority on the effects of alien abduction. In the report, Mack cites how many Americans believed they had been abducted. Can you think of what that number is? Or if you're just to guess, what do you think the number was of how many Americans believed they had been abducted? Of course, this would have been back you know, before the show had even started. I'm going with 37%. Um, okay. Well, I think he'd probably be a little bit high then, but the 33 and 7 are right because uh, the number was 3.7 million Americans. Damn it. I, thought, I think everybody's crazy. That they had been abducted by aliens. Now, I found a current study. I didn't get that exact number of how many Americans do believe that they have been abducted, but 65% of Americans believe intelligent life exists on other planet. The fact that that's not higher is actually concerning to me because of how goddamn big the universe is. Yes. To think that we're the only intelligent, and I'm real, I'm putting intelligent in quotation marks there because just go search, search social media and you'll see. Hey, look at us. Yeah, look at these idiots. <laughs> Um, oh, God. And see, and this the proof, uh, prime example here is I just brain farted on something else that I was going to bring up. Uh, it was going to be a quick little side note, so we'll skip it. If I think of it, we'll bring come back to it. So Dana Scully was partly molded after a famous fictional FBI agent. Can you name who? Um, How many female FBI agents do you know? Uh, personally... No, Zero. like fictional. Fictional. Um, fictional. I can think of Juan. And who is it? And that would be um, Clarice. Ding, Absolutely. Ding. Clarice Starling. Hello, Clarice. From Silence of the Lambs, Chris Carter has said, quote, it's not a mistake that Dana Scully has red hair. Mm -hmm. Carter also added that he always felt Scully was the center of the show as she was kind of the skeptic in all of us. You know, I, I, I think a lot of people felt that it was uh, Mulder's show because we were kind of following yeah. him and it was, he was the one that was searching for truth. But mm -hmm. to the creator, Chris Carter, he thought that Scully was. And I remembered what I was going to bring up right now. Have you ever seen the Saturday Night Live episodes where they, it's the alien abductions? And it was, um, oh gosh, I'll, I'm going to show you this afterwards. Uh, and I'll, I'll put a link down below to what it is I'm talking about. Because they're effing hilarious. Because there's two people who are like, yeah, it was this most beautiful sight. And I was so, it was so calming and peaceful for me. And then, um, is it Kate McKinnon, I think, is the <laughs> one. Who, <laughs> that, that, it just came into my head what you're talking about. She's, she's like, they start batting her knockers around. There you go. Yep. <laughs> I'll put a link. I'll put a link below so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking oh, about. So it's so funny. You can jump it's from the so X Files funny. to that because those ones, because it's, it's um, Ryan Gosling. Is one of the guys. Yes. 
he can't he can't keep a straight face. Like none of them can keep a straight face as she's as she's doing this character. But back to the X Files, uh, Jodie Foster actually made a cameo in the episode Never Again, which aired February second, nineteen ninety seven. Now the show created something called the Scully Effect. What do you think the Scully Effect is or was? Um, let's see. Probably. Oh, like a strong lead actress, like in the beginning of, or, you know, in a show. Um, I mean, you're on the right path, but it actually mm. had more to do um, with sort of uh, sparking an inspiration for girls and women of, uh, you know, in the 90s, which obviously the show started in 1993 to show a bigger interest in uh, the STEM fields, the you know, science, technology, engineering, and math, is oh. that they saw an increase in that because of the character. Like, they went and did research, and they asked women who had gone into those fields, and they said that they were inspired by Dana Scully. Yeah, that's cool. All right, quick fact here. David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson did not get along while filming the show, apparently. Apparently, they butted heads a lot, but... After the show had gone through its run and it was over, they actually kind of became close friends. Mm -hmm. And it's got it about that. And it has it listed, too, on the X-Files that it's I mean, obviously it began in 1993. The first full run ended in 02. But then remember, they did bring it back. And remember, they had I think it was Joel McHale was in those newer episodes. He played like an Alex Jones type character who had his own news network all about exposing the truth and and all that other stuff. It was it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I kind of wish they would have done more, but on the other side, I'm kind of glad they didn't because I think it might have been overkill at that point. But and those were the episodes with uh, with the Terminator, right? With uh, yes, Robert Patrick. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do you think Entertainment Weekly's original review of the show was? was positive or negative. it was it was probably no you know what i'm gonna say it was positive nah. was my buzzer. Uh, no go it was go with it your was, gut it was super negative yeah it's uh it said i believe in the actual review quote the show is a goner and it was citing <laughs> the, okay so remember how earlier on and uh before we like when we first started recording this i mentioned the whole friday mm -hmm. night time slot yep. they pointed to that they're like it's on friday nights it's gonna die and then they also just kind of looked at the whole genre in general and mm -hmm. Entertainment Weekly thought that this thing was going to be an absolute failure. Wow, they were wrong. They were do, way wrong. Do you remember The Smoking Man? Yes. So Because I, I always think about Half-Life when I think about that. <laughs> so he was originally just an extra that gradually was given more and more lines and a story. Now, the crazy thing about him was he had quit smoking in real life 20 years prior. And that's after having smoked for 25. So he smoked mm. for 25 years, gave it up for 20. And now all of a sudden that's kind of that's his thing. The, yeah, that's the character's thing. That so in his, his first few appearances, the cigarettes, cigarettes were real. But eventually they gave him herbal cigarettes oh, as, nice. as it kind of progressed through. So he was able to not have to deal with like the nicotine or anything like that with real cigarettes. Now, a major 90s actress signed on for a recurring role that did not end up happening. Can you think of who that was? She would have been big in the geek culture as well in the 90s. Big in the geek culture. Yeah, the, the, the nerddom of things. Like there are people who would have showed up to a Comic Con and they would have gone and stopped by the X-Files uh, um, talk and then they would have gone straight over to her her talk on her show. She had her own show. She had her own show. She had her own show. Um, would it... Would it be Xena? Hey! Lucy Lale! So the plan... Oh, yeah, that's her name. <laughs> <laughs> so the plan was to... Ha uh, her, uh, her super... Oh, Jesus, say this five times fast. The plan was for her super soldier character, Shannon McMahon to have a recurring role. But after a high-risk pregnancy forced her to bow out, uh, she only appeared in two episodes. Oh. All right, final fact. I don't fact. even remember in the show. 
Final fact slash question here for you. There was okay. a short-lived spinoff of the X-Files. Can you name it? Uh, yeah, I can. The Lone Gunman. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping you would get that one. I remember watching that one when it came out. I don't think it lasted very long. I think it was maybe eight episodes. And it followed the trio of conspiracy theorists who mm-hmm. ran their own magazine. And I can't remember if it was an episode of The X-Files or if it was an episode of um, The Lone Gunman where Mulder brings them some like high-ranking CIA official or somebody like that. And he basically goes in and tells all the lone gunmen, like he's looking at all the computers and basically points out that's bullshit, that's bullshit, that's bullshit. Like they're looking, there's one I remember, I think it was specifically Saddam Hussein. And yeah. the one guy and, and, and this guy was like, yeah, that's uh, that's Ted. He lives in Chicago. Like we just use him to get you guys riled up to distract you from the real stories that are happening over here. And I was like, <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Because back then, I remember this was the early because the, the, that show, The Lone Gunman, it aired uh, 13 episodes and it was in 2001. And I remember this the beginning of the Internet. You didn't really think about what you were reading per se. It was kind of like, oh, this must be true. It's on the Internet. Yes. Which yeah. now we know uh, that's that's exactly how it is. If it's on the Internet, it's fucking true. I am six foot Always. six. Right. Yep. Yes. And and I full flowing head of hair. Yeah. This CGI. Yep. Now you guys know. All right, coming up, future videos here on the channel. Um, we did a episode of the History of Rock last week where Shim and I covered Cream. We're going to be covering up the Big Day Out, which is kind of Australia's big festival. Um, Shim's got some interesting stories about that. We also have Mercedes Monet, a.k.a. Yes. Sasha Banks. We're going to be doing one on her. Johnny Cash, uh, Shim and I will be doing an episode on that. And then on down the road, we've got many, many more videos so if you guys are liking this content please it definitely helps us click like down below make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then also get that bell down there so that you're able to get the notifications when either when a new video pops up or when we go on live